Hello, on today's vlog I'm going to talk about the Warship module system, Tyrannica Scene's current features, vertical gameplay potential, and horrid sky cone hairdos. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rodol, the creator of Rival Rebels. These are the six essential modules that enable flying and other functionality. From left to right, I present the Tractor, the Minkowski Drive, Battery Bank, Regen, Stator Shield, and the Sklodowska Generator. Without going into too much detail, the Battery Bank allows you to accumulate surplus power for later use, or to provide extra power when the maximum output of the passive Sklodowska Generator is not enough. Making these boxes behave naturally when picked up by the player was hard, I think they came out pretty good. This, the Minkowski Drive I just picked up with my right hand, lets you phase jump. In simple words, it teleports you to a recorded nav point. In my left hand, I have the tractor, the module that grapples loot and sends it back to your hangar. The region in my friend's left hand does automatic repairs to your ship if necessary. To load or unload the modules, you use the base on the back of the Corsair 4, and then you can access its functionality from the cockpit GUI. Tyrannica City is just huge in every direction. The building skeletons are lower and less packed, only near the map center, but get taller quickly as you go farther out. I made all these procedurally, using formulas I came up with. Pure math, gotta love it. Modeling it in 3D would be completely mad, and it would take more than in my entire life, even if immortality becomes available. I am planning to add more features, a sand layer and some rusty landmarks. I'm also adding mobs, in different sizes and with different weapons. That will make exploring and the vertical gameplay more fun in general. Right now, the player is not getting damaged, but anyway, I'm planning to be very generous on the amount of fall damage they can absorb. But obviously, if you fall straight down from a 30-story building, you're dead. Okay, the last part of this vlog is a continuation of the video I made about the Skycoon customizer scene. This time, I'm showing you guys how to make ugly or unnecessarily large hairdos. Feel free to cosplay these. I'm still waiting for a Unity engine bug to be fixed in order to have more range in the hair sliders, and I'm adding more wigs to choose from. But for now, you get this sort of Statue of Liberty crown when you do this. Okay dudes, peace. See you next time, Rudel out. Yeah.